Hey there folks, Peter here with BlackRock Business and today I'm going to show you a little side hack in QuickBooks Point of Sale and that would be how can you record what zip codes your sales are coming from without actually grabbing other customer information like the customer name or the email. Uh, I stumbled upon this while somebody was wondering about it and now I'm going to show it to you. Other than that, before we jump into it, don't forget to click the link below to join our QuickBooks Point of Sale Facebook group, which will help you out immensely in your point of sale journey. Asking any questions or errors you might have to the group is a wonderful thing to do. And if you're on YouTube, don't forget to subscribe below so you can catch all our great new videos. Okay, so in QuickBooks Point of Sale, you are going to go on the File menu. We're going to head into Preferences and Company. And in the Company Preferences, you're going to click on Sales. I want you to put a check mark right here for Require a Promotional Code on Receipts and Customer Orders. We're actually going to be using the promotional code as the workaround because uh, the zip codes are not going to end up under anybody's name or anything like that. But every time you make a sale, uh, you're going to choose the products. You're not going to have to choose a customer or enter a customer name. But before you can take cash or do anything, it's going to tell you an entry must be made in the promo code field before the record can be saved. So you can click on promo code here and enter the zip code. Hit save and then you will be able to process the sale and save and print. So you just do that every single time and I also believe you can add a promo code button on the left hand side here add or edit promo code so if you want to use the button here otherwise you can easily hit promo code here either way you're gonna enter your promo code so every single sale your employee is going to enter the zip code Let me just quickly do a number of sales here so I can show you the reporting. Now that we've made a bunch of sales and we want to know where the sales are coming from in your local area, we're going to head on the reports menu, go to sales, and then we do promo code summary. So I can just switch to today and apply the date and I can see that I had three sales from 55123, one sale from 55666, two sales from 55789 and I can actually see how much money was spent from each one of those locations as well. So thanks for coming along on this journey in a side hack for zip codes without customer names. My name's Peter with BlackRock Business. Don't forget to check out the Facebook group and subscribe to our YouTube. Have yourself a great day. Bye-bye.